What's up guys? So today we're going to do Mario, but this time we're going to do Mario in Python. So it's very similar to what we did in C, but we'll do it just to give a little twist. We'll do it in a slightly different way. So we did use a lot of functions when we did in C. If you don't know how to do that in C, it's here in this, in this channel. But in Python, we're going to do string multiplication, something that doesn't exist in C. So the goal of the problem is to have an input and then you display this diamond shaped structure, two spaces and then the same diamond structure to the right. One important idea is to realize how many spaces we're printing before the hash. So we have one, two, three, four rows. How many spaces are printed in the last row? Zero. How many spaces in the second last row? One. The third last, two. So the number of spaces will be equal to the height minus the row. So what row is this one? Fourth. Height, four. Minus four, zero. So zero spaces. Height, uh, row three, height minus row, four minus three, one. So the number of spaces will follow the formula height minus num uh, current row. Then we print the hashes. How many hashes? How, uh, it depends on which row we are at. Row one, we print one hash. Row two, two hashes. So before we take a look at how to solve this, Let's take a look at some cool feature that we didn't have available in C. We can multiply strings in, in Python. So we can do 3 times A that give us A, A, A. Uh, 10 times B. B, 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 B. So why don't we use this technique in this problem? So the way we don't have a do while per se in Python. So what we can do is do a while true, so this will be an infinite loop, and we break once the condition we are looking for is true. So uh, let's just see what the limits are, so uh, it should be... In the first problem it was 8, so provides no greater than 8, so I don't know why I have 23 here. So if it's less or equal than eight, we break. Uh, so we get an input from the user. We check if it's within the bounds. If it is, we break from this infinite loop. So this is exactly the same as a do while, but we kind of need to work around the fact we don't have a do while, but it works the same way. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna print from one to height my, my plus one. Why height plus one? Because remember that the second argument in range is no inclusive. But we do want to go up to height. So we, if our input is four, we do want to go to the fourth row. We don't want to stop at the third row, which would happen if we just that had height. Why do we start at one? Because it helps us with the problem. Usually we start at zero, but we know that at the first row, I print one hash, so I can use the value of the variable num hashes to print the hashes. So again, we use the formula num of spaces will be height minus num hashes. So how many 